Hey everyone, it's RCJ officially. Welcome back to Find a Book and Read. I know it's been a while, but I'm going to explain everything in just a little bit. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and invite you guys to please go ahead and click down on that subscribe button. Go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already. And also go ahead and click the bell notification so that you guys know when I upload new videos. And don't forget to make sure that you click all so that you get all the notifications and not just when YouTube thinks you might want to see it. That way you never miss a video. Okay, so it's been a few weeks since I posted and I'm going to explain very briefly because I already kind of explained it on my main channel, but I'll explain here as well as to why I haven't posted anything in a few weeks. It's a little bit of a mix of a couple different explanations, but the first and most important reason is because I've been using a laptop that wasn't able to put forth the amount of processing for the work that I use and I do a lot of photo editing and heavy video editing. So between doing both of those and also, you know, music stuff that I do as well as recording my podcast and stuff, it takes a toll on a computer. And unfortunately, the computer that I had at the time just wasn't able to keep up with all of that and was starting to crash at certain times depending on what I was doing. It was enough to kind of make me go like, well, things are getting a really annoying with this computer, so I'm gonna just have to wait a little bit before I can upgrade. And it finally got to that point where I was like, all right, it's time. So I got a new computer and I'm able to now edit much faster and I'm able to put videos out way quicker than I was before because now the new computer that I have is able to process it. So kudos to that. Although I just recently saw that Apple is going to have a, another event on Tuesday. So at the time of recording this video, it is Sunday, November 8th, and their event is on Tuesday the 10th. And I'm pretty sure that they're gonna be announcing their new uh, MacBooks with their new silicon processor, which I'm probably gonna be very excited for, but I've already just bought a new computer and I'm gonna stick with it. So far, it's been really great and I have no complaints. All right, so that's the first biggest reason why I haven't posted anything. The other reason is because I haven't been able to get a haircut. Ah, I'm just kidding, that's not really a reason, but seriously, um, if you guys are wondering how my hair is like this, it's because I obviously haven't gotten a haircut. It's been a few weeks. And um, also, my hair was fixed up a little bit, but it was really windy and rainy today and everything just kind of fell and I didn't even want to put gel in my hair for this video I was just like you know what it's just been a long time let's just go ahead and make the video and put it out there so hair's like this today but uh, for the next videos it should be cut and should be looking nice and clean I hope all right so the other really reason was it's been really busy with work and really busy with school so trying to do all that stuff and trying to still read in the middle of all that was really really difficult in the month of October I didn't anticipate all that much work to come about in the month of October. And so unfortunately because of that, I did fall behind on books that I wanted to read. And so I'm going to push those books to my November TBR, which is what this video is all about for the most part. And I'm going to also share with you guys new books that I'm going to be reading that I'm super excited to be reading this coming month, or rather this month of November. And uh, yeah, so it's a little bit late, but nonetheless, gonna put it out there that way I can hopefully actually try much harder to read the books finish the books that I didn't and get on with it because I have a lot of books that I want to finish in December that I hope I'm able to get to before this year is over look at this hair all right so the first book that I'm gonna be reading or rather that I'm gonna be finishing really which I should have already finished but I'm going to just put it out there because I do have a couple more pages to finish is this book right here, Imposters by Scott Westerfeld. And this book is about, without spoiling anything, it is a book about two sisters, mainly one of two sisters, and they're both twins. But one sister is a trained assassin and the other sister is a princess who is the face of everything. Now the sister who is a trained assassin is basically the body double for the sister who is princess and everybody sees her face and everything and so unfortunately she's kind of left in the backlight a little bit it doesn't really quite sound as sad at the beginning of the book but the more you read into it the more you find out like dang it really sucks that they lived this kind of life 
and it's nothing like the sisters were mean to each other or anything but there are a lot of circumstances that just kind of led to their situation being that the way it was so it's a pretty interesting read like i said i'm almost done with the book but i'm not quite done with it and it was an october read so i'm just moving it into this list because gotta finish it and i'm gonna finish it this month in november so here it is on this list all right the second book on my tbr for the month of november is Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. I know another book that I should have finished reading already way back in September actually and into October. But again, so many things just going on and I just didn't really get around to it. So far, what I've read on this book has been really good, but see that's how much of the book I've gotten so far, which really isn't a lot. I haven't even gone through like halfway with this book, which is disappointing, but the book is really, really good actually so far. So this book starts off with a woman, her name is Noemi, she's our main character, who is asked to go to her cousin's house because the cousin is kind of in distress, and so Noemi goes and visits the cousin. Things are kind of weird and estranged in this household. I don't really know how else to describe it other than that without giving much away so far as I've read. But crazy things start to happen at the very beginning of this book. I mean, this is really the very beginning, so that's why I'm saying that. Crazy things do start to kind of happen. We don't really see a lot of the like supernatural stuff that's gonna be in this book, but there is a lot of supernatural stuff that's supposed to be in this book. It's like a thriller, kind of. I don't really wanna say it's horror, but I mean, people are kind of really classifying it as horror, but in my opinion, I think it's really more like a thriller than anything, but maybe that's just because of the pages that have gone through so far. So yeah, there's really strange things going on there. The cousin's family is all English, like from Britain, and they all live in Mexico, which is kind of interesting and kind of cool at the same time. Yeah, Noemi is learning a lot about these people in her cousin's life and who she kind of feels she can trust, who she kind of feels a little sus about. But yeah, so this is a very interesting book. I'm really disappointed in myself that I haven't finished it yet. But yeah, hope to finish reading this this month of November. Okay, before I continue, so the first book that I showed you guys, Imposters, that book is for a book club that I'm with, a few friends with. And uh, so I was supposed to finish it. I got through, like I said, most of the book. So. When we were at the end of the month of October in our discussion session, we basically went through almost everything except for some stuff at the end that after her meeting I read through and I was like, oh my gosh, now I understand like why you were so hyped about like some secret or whatever. So yeah, there's secrets in that other book. I know that we kind of already ended that. But anyway, the reason why I'm mentioning the book club is because in that book club, it was my turn then for this coming month of November to choose our November read. And so it was really hard for me to decide what book did I want to read for the month of November. And so when I finally came down to it, I said, okay, We've kind of been on this like sci-fi deal, but maybe I'm not really feeling the sci-fi as much anymore. I wasn't sure. So I was like, well, we just finished October. Maybe something kind of like fantasy-like. So in the end, I decided to go ahead and go with Legend Board by Tracy Dion. Legend Born is, first of all, let me show you guys a cover. Look at that cover. Isn't that just beautiful? So nice. And I'm going to just take the sleeve off here really quick because... I love when the books have not just a nice sleeve, but if they have like something really cool like that, I'm a fan. And then check out the spine. The spine looks really cool too. So yeah, this is a really nice design for this book and I think that they did a great job. All right, so Legend Born, I picked up this book shortly after knowing that this was gonna come out and after reading Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, which by the way, I was also supposed to finish reading her second book in Children of Blood and Bone, but haven't really gotten to it, Children of Virtue and Vengeance. Um, so hopefully that's a book that I can maybe read in December. Definitely not gonna be, unfortunately, for this month of November. But Legend Born, as soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, this book looks really nice. The cover looks amazing. So I decided to read the synopsis, and oh my goodness, the synopsis was really, really entrancing. I'm a huge fan of fantasy books, like you guys probably know already, as I mentioned in this channel before. And so far, most of the books that I've shared with you are kind of in that genre, which is fantasy. In that genre of fantasy. So, 
Legend Born is a book about this young girl, she's 16 years old, who unfortunately loses her mom to an accident and sounds like she's a really intelligent student because she goes to, hold on, I don't wanna get this incorrect. She goes to, it says right here, she goes to a residential program for bright high schoolers at UNC Chapel Hill. This young girl is really brilliant, so she goes to this school and at the school, she witnesses this attack, this magical attack by a demon. And then there's this whole thing about a group called Legendborn. This is a secret organization that helped to like fight these kind of like magical creatures and things that happen in the real world or in their world, I should say. And as she witnesses all this, she meets a person who kind of shows her accidentally that she's also of magic descent. And then that helps her realize that her mom's accident wasn't just some normal accident, it was actually some kind of a magical accident. And so crazy stuff starts to happen. This kind of just ensues her to then meet another guy who tells her about Legendborns and like, you know, we probably need to band together because Legendborn aren't a very good organization. But then there's some other cra crazy like backstory going on too where like, okay, now if you're gonna be a legend born, you kinda gotta fight this other cause that she's probably going to fight but she feels like a struggle with. And it may sound like I started reading this but I haven't. Sounds like a really interesting book. I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and read this together for the book club. Although I do feel a little bad because our last book wasn't as hefty as this one. And the print for this book is way tinier than it was for imposters, but I think we can do it. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be another November read that I hope to get through. All right, so the next book on my November TBR is actually this book right here. You can probably barely even see it, but it is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I've never read this book, but I saw the movie, I loved it. I thought it was really well done. Steven Spielberg did an amazing job as he almost always does with his movies. I commend him very much for the work that he did on that movie and everybody that worked on that because they did an amazing job. It also happens to be one of my little brother's favorite movies. He's watched it tons and tons and tons of times. I can't even tell you the number. When I saw that they were gonna have Ready Player Two come out in this month of November, I thought, let me go ahead and read this book this month of November so that at the end of the month when that book comes out, I can read Ready Player Two and I finally actually get more details as to what the book maybe says that's different from the movie. Because you know, that always kind of happens. You never get everything that's from a book adapted into the movie and sometimes the movie creates stuff that was never in the book. So to kind of see that difference is going to be very interesting for me and that's why it's going to be on my November TBR. On that topic of having mentioned already Ready Player Two, Ready Player Two is gonna be on my TBR as well as soon as that book comes out toward the end of the month, which is actually, I believe the 24th of November is the release date. I've already pre-ordered my book. It should be coming in the mail literally on the release day. So as soon as that book gets here, hopefully I'm already done reading Ready Player One and I can jump right into Ready Player Two and hopefully it's, engaging and exciting and everything that I think and hope that these books are gonna be. But yeah, I'm really excited to read Ready Player One and Ready Player Two this month. And finally, the last book that I'm gonna be reading in this month of November is actually a non-fiction book. It is a book by, I hope, to be also a great author because I really enjoyed his wife's book. But this is going to be A Promised Land by Barack Obama, President Barack Obama, former president, however you say it. But I really enjoyed reading Michelle Obama's book, Becoming, and I thought as soon as I saw this book was coming out, I mean, I loved the guy. He was always really amazing to listen to. He was super engaging. And I remember actually being in high school when he was being elected, or rather sworn in, as the president of the United States back in 2008. Really exciting time for our country, historic, because it was our first African-American president to run this country and there was so much hope and so much love and just a lot of support for Barack Obama and I think he did an amazing job and I'm looking forward to reading about his journey, how he got to that office and his journey in the office of the presidency because again, in my opinion, I thought Michelle Obama's book was really, really fun and really engaging. So I'm hoping that Barack Obama's book is also going to be fun, engaging, 
and just intriguing because I find the Obamas to be very interesting people. So yeah, A Promised Land by Barack Obama will be my final TBR for this month of November. All right, so I've got a couple of books to get through this month and we're already basically halfway through the month. Today, again, like I said, is November the 8th at the time of recording this video. And I am super hopeful that I'll be able to finish reading all these books. But if I don't, well, I guess they're gonna be either December books or they'll be January books in 2021, which is crazy to think about that we're finally gonna be out of 2020, a really crazy and rough year. But I do have to say that as crazy and rough and unpredictable as this year has been, there have been some pretty amazing things that have come out of this year. And so regardless of the fact that there may have been this whole different way of us living our lives, I'm pretty sure that for most of us, if not for a lot of us, we were able to find some silver lining in the midst of this entire year. So 2020, you probably won't be missed but thank you for all the good stuff. But I'm getting ahead of myself. It's not yet the end of 2020. We are still about a month and a half out before we ring in that new year, but I am excited, like I said, to read all of these books. And I really hope that if you guys are looking for something to read, or if you're trying to get back into reading, you check out these books. I really think that they would be very interesting for you guys to read. And again, I'm a person who hasn't read in a very long time. So if you're able to pick up one of these books, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Send me a DM on Instagram. Send me a message here. Comment down below on the YouTube video. Let me know if you've read them or if you would like to read them. Or even after you've read these books, come back here and comment about it. Yeah, let's build this community. That's kind of what this is all about. And not just me sharing, but so that we can share reading and enjoying reading together. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being patient and waiting for a new video to come out on this channel. And again, please don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. Don't forget to click all, comment down below, and as always, find a book and read. I'll catch you guys in the next one.